Jessie V. Can I just say that I'm putting myself way out there for this video. I have some very embarrassing pictures that I'm gonna show you guys. I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. Probably because I love you guys and I want you guys to get to know me a little more. And unfortunately that means showing you some of my embarrassing past. I really hope you still love me after this because I'll love you no matter what. I think I should just stop prolonging this and just get into it before I change my mind to not do this video. Oh my gosh. First picture. Here is a baby picture of me. Obviously. Apparently I made this face all the time. This is the face I make when I'm watching Vampire Diaries and Damon Salvatore walks in. Something was obviously amusing me. And so this gorgeous picture was taken. Oh, this next picture, my mom decided to dress me up as a witch slash pumpkin for Halloween. It's like, mom, choose one, okay? It definitely looks like I'm faking a smile. I was like, mom, get me out of this thing. Oh my gosh, I used to wear body suits around the house all the time for some reason. I blame my mom. And what's funny was my diaper would always just pop out of these body suits. I'd walk around with a butt four times a that it actually was. And I would have tea parties, as you can see in this photo. I am pro in tea making and diapers. This picture should win the best smile award for sure. I look like I'm about to do something very bad. I swear I wasn't evil, but this picture might say otherwise. Also, it looks like I'm wearing a quilt. Mom, why did you dress me like this? I just wanted to let you guys know that I was the coolest kid. I put this picture on my Instagram a couple days ago, and I just think I look so awesome. I mean, look at that hat right? It's like 12 times too big for my head, but I didn't care. And those low-cut overalls, though. In this picture, I look like I'm in pain while I'm eating the ice cream. Whenever I see pictures of kids eating food and the food is all over their face, I just want to, like, reach into the picture and, like, clean it off. Like, how did we not feel that as kids? How do we not know there was ice cream all over our face? I mean, it's cold. It's ice cream. This is a picture from a ballet recital. I don't look very happy. And it's probably because I look like a loofah sponge. I I do not think that this outfit is very flattering on me and that's probably why I look so upset. This is a picture of my sister and I. Look at her matching like leopard print. I just want to point out that my sister looks terrified that I'm hugging her. She just looks petrified of me. What's new? This is a picture of me sleeping. I've got to admit it's a bit creepy on my parents part and I love how I'm just sleeping on a Beauty and the Beast pillow but all you can see is the beast behind my head. I'm just sleeping on his face. This is a picture of me when I lost my first tooth. I was obviously eager to show it off. I've got to say, it's a great angle on my face. I don't even know what to say about this picture. It haunts me to this day. It's like I can never get away from this picture. My mom has a million prints of it all over the house. I mean, this right here is a definition of a nerdy photo. Can't you see the resemblance? Yeah. This is another picture from my dance recital. It appears that they always put me in a polka dot outfit with fringes all over the place. That must have been a popular thing in the 90s. I don't know. This is a, a lovely picture of me at the Rainforest Cafe. To this day, I have no idea why I look so shocked. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Rainforest Cafe, basically you sit there and sometimes it starts to rain, not on you, just around you. Sometimes the fuzzy robotic gorillas start to move. So maybe I saw one and I was like, a gorilla! I don't know. I mean, I'm pointing at something. Okay, so I know this isn't me. The other week I made a video about how my sister always screams when she sees Santa and this is a perfect example of that like here's proof look at her that is not a happy child's face okay so many of you know that I absolutely love Sailor Moon and this is a picture of me when I got my first Sailor Moon doll I look beyond happy you know what they say moon prison power I found this picture and I laughed so hard look at my face. It looks like I haven't slept in five weeks or I just farted. Either way, it's one of those pictures you just have to keep to laugh about all the time. I just want you guys to take this picture in for a second. Take a gander at my hair. What is going on? Those have got to be the biggest ponytails in the entire world. And I mean those scrunchies look like donuts. Once again, my mother was a great hairstylist. Here's a picture of me dressed as Sailor Moon for Halloween. I've just got to brag for a second. I made that costume myself. Okay. I went out trick or 
retreating, believing that I was Sailor Moon. I was like, where is my tuxedo mask? I am ready to fight. This is a picture of my sister and I being completely normal in a restaurant because every normal child puts a napkin on their head. I'm pretty sure we kept those on the entire meal. I don't know how our parents did not want to disown us. This picture is exactly the reason why you guys like me, right? I really don't know what this was supposed to be. I looked like I was dressed as Jack Frost as a rock star. I mean, I even look confused in the picture as to what I'm doing. Did I really go out like that in public? Uh, here I was a witch for Halloween. Does anybody else think that my skirt looks way too big? I look like a hot air balloon. I look like a friggin' pom-pom. I was trying to be scary, but I think I just look quite comical. This is a great shot of me jumping in the air. I'd like to say that I look very graceful. Look at that arm technique. I know what's up. Okay, so remember a few months back when I made that video about me being a strange child? In the video I talked about how my mom made me dress up as a giant owl for Halloween. Here's proof. Feel my pain. Mom, why did you do this to me? This has scarred me. This is the reason why I'm like this today. Okay guys, this next part is probably the most embarrassing part of them all. You are about to see my awkward years. 12 to 14 years old. Here we go. Braces, no makeup, weird hair. The photographer definitely told me to smile in this photo, but I did not comply. I was like, please take this picture so I can leave. I feel like I should just cover my eyes as we go through these pictures, because I don't even, I have no explanation for why I look so strange. This is me with a balloon. I look confused and uncomfortable, just like I'm feeling right now. I'm not too sure why a 14 year old needed a balloon animal. I don't remember who gave that to me, but it doesn't look like I want to be holding it. Isn't it like crazy how blonde my hair was? That's all natural guys. I am so glad I went dark. I literally don't think I ever like really did anything to my hair. I must have just got out of bed and went about my day without doing anything. What is a comb? What is a comb? My hair is almost forming an umbrella shape. It's quite close to it. I look very unhappy to be having my picture taken. I'm like, who do you think you are, father? Get that lens out of my face. <laughs> I love how my shirt says snow fun, but I do not look like I'm having a good time. There is no fun in that face. We will just quickly skip this one. I just wasn't very photogenic. I'm pretty sure I'm even wearing a t-shirt that I got from my dentist office. Just putting that out there. These next pictures are when I'm 15, 16, and 17. I was a weird teenager. As you can see, I really thought I was cool because sticking my tongue out instantly meant that I was a cool kid. I thought I was the bomb. But I just look stupid. This picture I obviously wanted to show off that I love zombies. I love how the heart just has bite marks out of it. I don't know why I look shocked in the picture like, oh, I love zombies. Oh my gosh. This picture I am posing with a tree. For some reason I thought this would be a beautiful model shot. It almost looks like I was playing hide and seek and I briefly peeked around this tree and someone shot a picture. Here is another in the moment shot. Let me just say my arms and legs are way too skinny. I needed a friggin hamburger. Someone get this girl a pizza. Here is a picture of me trying to look model like in a forest. I'm all like, oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Oh my, go oh my goodness, I'm so lost. It's not even a good picture. I mean, half the trees are dead around me. Here's a picture of me when I had a random orange streak on one side of my head. Black and orange. I was rocking the Halloween hair. This is not an embarrassing photo. It's me from my prom. I just kind of found it while I was looking through all these weird pictures and I was like, I'll just throw that up there. The story of getting that prom dress is actually really interesting. I could probably make a V time out of it. It was quite a hilarious experience. Another time though. And this is a picture of me dancing on top of a table, singing karaoke. It may surprise you, but there was no alcohol involved. This is me sober. I was a wild child, and not in a good way. Anyways, as you guys probably know, I'm 21 now, and there's no point in me showing you pictures of my life right now, because I mean, you already see what I look like, you already know I'm crazy, but I just, I found some of these photos, and I'm like, this would be a good video, just to show you how strange I was. I mean, I have a million other pictures, but I really had to cut them down to just a few or this video would be like I don't even know two hours. I hope you enjoyed this. I did not think I would be showing 50,000 subscribers my embarrassing faces but honestly you guys are worth it and I love you all and you're all so supportive and it makes me want to do crazy videos like this even if I get a little embarrassed it's worth it. My Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Facebook page is in the description along with a link to my new vlog channel and I'll be posting my first vlog video on the 27th so check it out and subscribe and until next time guys bye